Is NVIDIA really trying to stop us from mining on our LHR cards again? It's been a very painful year for us as GPU miners with LHR cards trying to get reasonable performance and hash rate out of our cards. We've paid a big premium for it. And finally, at least on May 7th this year, we were given a gift from NiceHash, the first 100% LHR unlock miner. And it was for the first time we were able to get the full hash rate out of our primary LHR cards. And this was an absolute game changer for us. A lot of the other miners followed suit shortly after. But if you've downloaded the latest driver from NVIDIA, their latest present to us is a gift that paralyzes our cards. It puts them back to their pre-LHR unlock days where we're getting terrible hash rate and terrible performance. This is Crypto Mining Insider, and I'm going to be taking a really quick look at this. If you haven't already subscribed, press down on that subscribe button. Stick with me and let's get started. Earlier today, I've decided I'm going to be doing some new miner testing. I see there's some great updates for the quick miner. Now they have LHR unlocked 90% for the 3080 12 gigabyte as well as the 3050 card. And there's some great updates from the T-Rex miner too. So I decided I'm going to capture some benchmarks before I go on to do that testing. So here's an example. I was running the T-Rex miner and look at these results. 49.23 mega hash on my 3060 all the way up to 122, 123 mega hash on my 3080 Ti. And I was getting epic results from the quick miner as well. Once I was completed getting my benchmark settings, I decided I'm gonna be testing these new versions of the miners using the latest NVIDIA driver. Maybe it gives me some performance edge on the hash rate or even some improvements to stability. I went to the NVIDIA site and I see the latest driver is 512.95 is the latest version at the time of recording. It's now May 25th of 2022. So I went through the process of downloading the latest driver and you know it takes quite a while. So I'm going to try to zoom through this part quick. I installed the latest driver 512.95 in anticipation of being able to test the latest version of the quick miner as well as the new updates in the T-Rex miner because I was very excited about them, especially because I just got a new 12 gigabyte RTX 3080 card. So I downloaded this driver. This way I figure out hopefully I'll have the better settings. Maybe it'll be a little bit more stable, get possibly even more hash rate. I'll at least be able to determine that. So I started up the miner and when I went to go start up T-Rex, I'm using the T-Rex plugin adapter and nice hash, which I developed. Just want to test out that miner and see the hash rate. And I see all the cards being recognized, overclocks and the DAGs being generated. Then what came next was really, really shocking to me because I see it kind of paused, like it looked like it almost froze for a moment, but it didn't freeze. I could still see it was very, very active on the miner. It was performance wise was much, much, much slower. But what happened next was an absolute shock to me. Numbers that I haven't seen in probably about a year. Actually, I didn't even have all those LHR cards back a year ago. What I would have seen if I would have had day one of LHR cards, I was seeing, look at this, 26.35 mega hash on my 3060s, 30.44 on my 3060 Ti, 32.84 on my 3070, 43.94 on my 3070 Ti, 53.84 on my 3080, and 66.42 on my 3080 Ti. I seen these numbers and it was like, it made me want to cry. I was just saying, oh, thank gosh, just a dream. I know I'll be able to swap back drivers again. This is really an insult to us as miners. We've worked so hard to be able to support our mining farms and being able to have our hobby or our interest be able to mine and just for NVIDIA just to kind of pull the rug away from us and give us this new miner that seems to purposely defeat the LHR unlock mechanism. I'm getting terrible hash rate from it, terrible efficiency too. It's a very ungreen solution to you, NVIDIA. So definitely thumbs down to you for this new version of the driver. Uh, I'm very, very disappointed. I see some new stuff with some new games that are gonna be taking advantage of the new DLSS with this version of the driver. So are we gonna to have to decide, do we wanna be able to mine or do we want the best gaming performance, but we're not gonna have both? Is this some retaliatory step against us miners? Are you just kind of pissed off that they cracked the LHR code? I mean, if anything, you should be grateful for it because with that, it was able to sell a lot more of your LHR GPUs that people just didn't want. They were sitting on shelves, but once they were unlocked, I think a lot more of the LHR GPUs were being sold. So I think it kind of helped you, not hurt you. 
why they would take a step like this, I don't know. Is it retaliatory? I don't know. I'd love to hear your feedback on this one. So please drop a comment down below. So I, I was really, really upset when I seen this. It was definitely a step backwards for us. I thought we were finally reaching a good place. Maybe NVIDIA would be happy because they're selling more cars. We're happy at least because we'll be able to mine at full capacity or at least a full mining potential. Considering even mining revenue is really down, this would be really harmful if we had to be stuck with this. I'm really grateful at least we have alternatives. So I went ahead and I swept back to the other version of the driver and that seemed to alleviate all my headaches. So let me show you that. So once I swapped back over to the previous driver, version 512.59, and I got rid of the 512.95. It's kind of funny that they're opposite 5995. I was getting these epic hash rates again. Everything back from 49 mega hash on my 3060s, 80 mega hash on my 3070 Ti's, 100 on the 3080s, 122 on my 3080 Ti's, all with above 400 to 425 and above efficiency. And even look, my 3070 has given me a 564 efficiency. These are the type of numbers that I would expect to be getting out of my cards. I don't expect to be making steps to go backwards. So make sure before you download any versions of drivers, always keep your previous drivers in case you have to revert to them. I'm just cautious. I hope this is not the new beginning of the new end of good drivers for us. You know, I like to be able to do some gaming too. And I know a lot of you do as well. But I don't want to have to make that choice. Do I want a game or do I want a mine? But at least being able to have the old copy of the driver handy is going to be a, a safe net right now. But hopefully this is just a temporary thing. And I hope this is not the new norm. Some people are saying too, NVIDIA is kind of pissed off that they cracked the LHR, that they've kind of lost the control over it. And I kind of think there's a good chance they could be too. But yet at the same time too, they've made, I think, a very healthy profit out of selling a lot more of these LHR GPUs thanks to the LHR unlock. I'd love to know your thoughts, so please drop a comment down below. And my takeaway to you is do not download the latest driver from NVIDIA 512.95. It will paralyze your cars. I've tested this on a couple of miners, including T-Rex, including Quick Miner. I think I've heard some others saying some of the other miners too, they were seeing that same behavior. So do not download 512.95 unless you don't plan to do any GPU mining. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it helps you. If it has, please give me a big thumbs up, like, and don't forget to press down on that subscribe button so you're notified of any updates on this. Till next time, stay safe. See you on the next video. Happy mining!